channel and if you're new welcome to my channel um first of all i just want to say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers i'm really grateful and i really appreciate it i hope that we'll keep growing anyway guys i'm filming in my bedroom today um i feel like the lightning here is much 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 better than it is in my front room so i probably will be filming in my bedroom most often than in the living room Excuse the way I look today, guys. Seriously, like, I feel so ratchet, like, you don't understand. I have no makeup on. My eyebrows ain't done because I can't be asked to go and get it done. I can't be bothered to go and get it done. My eyelashes is doing the most right now. So, excuse the way I look, guys. Do you know what? We're friends now, so, yeah. Take me as I am. <laughs> So anyway, today, 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 I am going to rant about Backchat London. For those who don't know what Backchat London is, is basically like um, a group of people, which is male and females, that come together in a kitchen, yes, in a kitchen, and they talk about like everyday life they have different topics every week and they all have their own opinions and contributions about the topics and stuff it does get heated sometimes because obviously some people cannot respect other people's opinion so sometimes it does get heated and i feel like the whole point of that program or that show or whatever it is is for um is for i think i've to be honest, I thought it was like educational purpose, but to be honest, it's not. I just feel like people have things against each other, and when they come on that, when when the cameras start rolling, they'll start throwing shades at each other and stuff. I will definitely put in some clips of everything that I'm talking about, so obviously none of you get confused. Now, yesterday, I was watching the reunion. <laughs> I can never say this word properly, so excuse me, guys, if I can't say it properly. So, I was watching it yesterday, yeah. The part one came last week, and the part two came yesterday. The part one wasn't really that bad. Like, it wasn't so heated. But the part two, like, I was watching it on my phone, and I was just like, oh, my God. Like, are these people for real like the things they were saying about each other was just rank like no 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 it doesn't matter if you hate that person the certain things that is meant to be kept private you don't have to tell the whole world about it do you get what i mean so anyway what i picked up from the part one was nunu and sia so basically Nunu and Sia are obviously um, one of the members of Backchat and I think they are, they weren't in season one. They, I think they were new in season two because I don't remember seeing none of them in season one. So basically there was a topic about obesity and overweight people and obviously Nunu being the kind of girl she is, she speaks her mind and I feel like a lot of people hate Nunu but I don't hate her because I feel like a little bit of her is like me, even though the same things that she's done that I would dare not do or even think about doing, which I don't even want to go there right now because it's a whole different topic. So anyway, Nunu B Nunu, she said her mind and some of the things that she said offended Sia. She got upset because obviously Sia is overweight. Oops. Sia is plus size. So obviously certain things that were said kind of like offended her. Um, let me put in a clip of what happened because you know it's better to watch it than me explain it. So yeah, this is a clip of obviously what happened. I've never been slim. My whole life, I've been the bigger girl. As a child, I think for my dad, he spoiled me a lot. So he would give me chocolates and sweets and things that I probably shouldn't have been having at that age, which has followed me until this age now. Yeah. And this is why people are big because they always say blame them. You chose to eat all that food and you're fat. That's your problem. It's nobody else. I don't even believe there's generation, oh yeah, if I, my mum was fat, that means I'll be fat. No. You 
You chose to eat what you ate and you bear the consequences. Um, I was thinking about like everything that I could have possibly done to avoid the situation. And like, I was thinking about like self decisions that I may have made like in terms of like eating habits and things that you don't think about on a day-to-day basis that could have made my child. So yeah guys, you've seen how it was said and you can tell that obviously there's better ways to say things, but Nunu being Nunu, she says it, whatever pops in her head, she says it. Literally, if poo pops in her head, she just says poo. Like, she can't filter anything, she just says it as it is. And I feel like, see, I shouldn't really, really get upset about it because at the end of the day, yeah, it's a talk show. People come there to discuss everyday life stories, yeah? People come there to speak about their very own opinion. And that was her opinion about plus size people or obese people or fat people. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And some of the things that she did say has a little bit of truth in there. I am plus size. I don't blame anyone from being fat. I love chocolate. I love sugary food. Do you get what I mean? I, If I want to lose weight, I'm not going to rely on somebody to help me lose weight. You have to lose weight on your own. Do you get what I mean? And I know that some, like, it is kind of a sensitive subject, yeah, for us big people. When somebody says it in our face, like, yeah, you're fat, nobody asks you to eat, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes, it's being fat, it's not about eating. I tell you what, yeah, I don't even eat that much, like... I can go a day without eating. I'm not really like the eating type person. And the way that I feel like how I put on weight was because I've got a sweet tooth and I've got a low metabolism. That's why it's easier for me to put on weight. So there's different, different ways of how people put on weight. Nobody sits there and just have a big, massive pile of food in front of their face and just eat, eat, eat. And, you know, just be like, I'm going to get fat today. I'm going to eat all this food and da, da 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 No one does that. And whoever does that, obviously, is not thinking about their health. Do you get what I mean? So some of the things Nunu did say was a bit stupid and she should have thought about it before she said it. But I don't feel that Sia should have taken it to heart. Do you get what I mean? There's different things that people come there and talk about. I remember they were talking about homosexuality and they had a lesbian girl there and a gay person there and these people were going in on them, like literally going in on these people. But it's an everyday, it's like, it's different people's opinion. You came on there to listen to what other people have to say about that situation. If you haven't got the heart, yeah, to take criticism, do not go on that show. It's a simple ass. You should always expect the worst. Me, I am the type of person, if you say something to me right now that I don't like, it'll go through this ear and come out this ear. Yes, I'll be upset, but only for a little while and I'll get over it because life goes on. But I'll be back. Sorry guys, I was rudely interrupted. I got a phone call. So, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying now. Anyway, that was it for Nunu and Sia, okay? So, when they came on the back chat reunion, they had obviously their little confrontation about that episode. And I'm going to put the clip in for you guys to see what happened, okay? Did you actually come on this show to be the bad guy? No. No, like I'm just myself at the end of the day. So what I said was not directed at Sia. I wait, was just wait, saying. But it has to be there because how is it? it has to, you're wait, taking it how you on, want to. Wait, no, let me you talk. Wait, you're barking. No, you're barking. I need to talk. No, no, no. It's my time to talk. She was asking me. Okay, so okay but talk. okay, cool. Yeah, no, I hear that. But you're barking, babe, and no, I'm right because, here. No, you get me? You so said, let's, let's... I let you talk. All right, cool. So I hear you, I but talk. you're barking. That's what I'm saying. So when I was saying what I said, nothing was directed at Sia. She's taking it. People take shit how they want to take it. You're insecure, that's why you think it's about you. I'm not on no puppy show team. That's not what I'm on. That's not why I'm here. So Nunu can talk exactly how she wants to talk. That's her, let exactly. her do her. I'm not on no puppy show team. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm not gonna stand here and start barking to entertain no crowd. Okay. That's not what I'm gonna do. So Nunu, right. do you baby girl. Brilliant. So what I was trying thing. to say is, I've been saying what 
I feel. People ask us a question, I respond in the way that I believe to be true. So no one should ever take it personal. That's, I'm not here to comfort you on that. As I said before, some people misunderstand Nunu. So they take her in a wrong way on everything that she says. So I feel like every single cast member on Backchat London dislike Nunu. They can say that, oh, blah, blah. They're all lying. Nobody likes her. Everybody dislikes her. Now, from the day this girl said the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life, everybody just started looking down on this girl. I've noticed since that episode, everyone just looks at her like, uh, like all the girls look down on her and everything, yeah. I'm not gonna say what she said because till this day, every time I think about it, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I'm gonna put in a clip of what she said. And then, yeah, so this is a clip of what she said, guys. If you haven't had sex with a girl on her period, there's something wrong with you. It is very natural, it is very normal. I guarantee you, nine out of 10 girls have had sex on their period. Every girl wants to act like, oh, it's not happening. It's happening. It is happening. The guy has done it and he's enjoyed it. Some men, they like it with the period because it's got the extra lubricant. If a guy licks me out when I'm on my period, I'll respect him more. Hey, chuck the butt out of face, bruv. Are you mad? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Don't yeah, but it's the same way that a guy would not suck his own dick. Shut up. Shut up. No. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. Don't do that man. So yeah, as you can see, this girl is very raw and she just says anything that pops in the head. Fair enough, that's what you like, but you don't have to tell us, like, we don't need to know. You don't have to go on and tell everybody, you know, I did this, I did that, I did that. Like, keep it to yourself, like, keep it private. Do you get what I mean? It's absolutely disgusting. I will never do that or think about doing that. And I wouldn't advise any girl to do that because it's very unhygienic and it's so nasty. So that's one thing that she did that kind of put me off her. Because before I was all over, like defending her and everything. Yeah, but after when she said that, I was like, nah. You know, you know, like you don't have to crave for fame so much. And I feel like some people they say certain things because they're craving for fame. Like they want to say something for it to be like a hit. That like, oh my god, that girl that said this. Oh my god, that girl that said that. But to be honest, guys, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Like, if you're meant to blow up, you will blow up. You don't have to ruin your image for you to get noticed. Do you understand? You don't have to do something dumb just because you want the public eye to notice you. Like, it's so stupid. Like, it's like me sitting here and I'll go and say something really stupid about myself or I'll do something really dumb just because I want to be YouTube famous or social media famous. It's just, that was just stupid. Anyway, guys, that's what I picked up. Oh, actually, and another thing that I picked up as well was Adrian. But I'm going to talk more about Adrian in the part two because, to be honest with you, that guy, there's just something about him that I can't place my finger on. Like, I don't know what he is. Like, what are you? Like, I feel like he's just too... Like, he makes himself look so pure. And I feel like there's something about him that he doesn't want people to know. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... But with him, I'll talk more about him in the second part because I want to keep this video as short as possible and I can't put the part one and the part two all in one video because the video is going to be really long and boring so I'm gonna leave the part one right here and then the part two guys the juicy one will come up in my next clip guys so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to please like like what else do you have to do don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends and family and i will see you in my next video okay bye